In this video, we'll be looking at using Git with Unity. Our goal is to show you a starting point for you to use Git as your version control system for your Unity project. Git is a distributed version control system for tracking changes in source code during software development. It is designed for coordinating work among programmers, but it can be used to track changes in any set of files. Git is a popular solution for developers looking to collaborate together on a project. Git has branching features that allow developers to work separately and then merge changes together. Git can be run on your local machine only, but can also be deployed to a remote server. In a local configuration, Git runs on your local machine and allows you to track and version changes in a directory on your computer. Git can also run on a remote server, in which your repository is hosted in the cloud. GitHub is one example of a popular cloud-based Git platform. You interact with your repository via a Git client, like GitHub Desktop, the Git Terminal application, or the GitHub for Unity plugin. Git is an open source protocol. There are many different ways to use it. You can choose a host and client that fits your needs and workflow. In this video, we will use GitHub for our Git server, and we will use the GitHub for Unity plugin as our Git client. First, let's set up our Unity project to best work with Git. Open Edit Project Settings, and then select Editor in the sidebar. Meta files are created by Unity's asset database system to store references to the location of files in your project. When using Git, it is recommended to set the meta files to be visible. You will need visible meta files for Git to automatically detect and add them to your repository. It is also recommended to set asset serialization to force text. Git can handle binary files, but it works best with text formats. Set asset serialization to text so that Git can work more efficiently and to allow for easier resolution of conflicting changes. Next, let's install the GitHub for Unity plugin into our project. GitHub for Unity is compatible with Unity versions 5.4 and higher, including versions 2017, 2018, and later. The plugin also requires Git version 2 or higher to be installed. On Mac OS, we will need to install the latest Git and Git LFS manually and make sure these are on the path. You can configure the Git location in the Settings tab on the GitHub window. The easiest way of installing Git and Git LFS on Mac OS is to install Homebrew and then run the command brew install git git lfs in your terminal. Links to Git, Git LFS, and Homebrew are down in the description below. Make sure a Git user and email address are set in the .git config file before you initialize a repository for the first time. You can set these values by opening your .git config file and adding the name and email sections if it doesn't exist yet. On Windows, the GitHub for Unity extension ships with a bundle of Git and Git LFS to ensure that you have the correct version. These will be installed into Local App Data GitHub Unity when the extension runs for the first time. GitHub for Unity needs to be installed and updated for each Unity project that you want to version control. To install the plugin, visit the GitHub for Unity release page, which is linked below in the description. The plugin will be saved as a file with the extension .unity package. To install it, open Unity, then open the project you want to version control, and then double-click on the downloaded package. Alternatively, import the package by clicking Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, then selecting the downloaded package. The plugin may ask for permissions for it to function properly. On Mac OS, you may need to grant permission to the plugin under System Preferences, Security and Privacy, General. Once the extension is installed, we can access the GitHub window by going to Window GitHub. The window opens by default next to the Inspector window. If the current Unity project is not in a Git repository, the GitHub for Unity extension will offer to initialize the repository for you. 
This will initialize a Git repository at the root of your project, initialize large file support, set up Git ignore and Git attribute files, configure the project to serialize metafiles as text, and finally, create an initial commit. To set up credentials in Git so that you can push or upload and pull or download changes from your remote repository, you can sign in to GitHub by going to Window, GitHub, Account, Sign In. You only have to sign in successfully once. Afterwards, your credentials will remain in the system for all Git operations in Unity and outside of it. For more information, please visit the Authenticating to GitHub documentation page. Our setup is done. Let's publish our repository to GitHub. First, sign in to github.com and create a new empty repository. Do not add a license, readme, or other files during the creation process. Once the repository is created, click the Clone Download button and copy the HTTPS URL. In Unity, open the GitHub window under Window GitHub Settings and paste the URL into the remote text box. Click Save Repository. Now we can open the History tab and click Push. The History tab shows the entire commit history for our repository. You can think of each commit as being like a save point for your project that we can roll back to if something goes wrong. We can now edit, add, remove, and change files in our repository safely. When collaborating with others using GitHub for Unity, it is recommended to lock any binary files, such as Unity scene files, which are not easily merged by Git. Examples of binary files include Unity scenes, images, video, audio, or asset files. Locking a file can help prevent others from making changes to that file while it is being edited. For example, if we will spend a day editing a scene, updating an image, or changing a 3D model, it is recommended to lock the files so other team members are aware that it is being edited. To lock a file, in the Project view, right-click on a file and select Request Lock. All locked files will show up in the Locks tab in the GitHub for Unity window. Release a lock by right-clicking a locked file and selecting Release Lock. To release a lock set by a different machine, use Release Lock Forced. It is recommended to lock any binary files before you work on them, commit your changes when you're done making changes, and then release the lock. As we work on our project, all changes made to a repository will show up under the Changes view. It is recommended to routinely commit changes as often as possible. Each commit is an additive snapshot of the entire repository. Let's commit our changes to the repository. Select the changes to be committed. We can choose the All None options or select directories or files individually. It is recommended to enter a commit summary, which describes the purpose of the commit. An optional commit description can also be entered, which can help identify what this commit is for. Click the button Commit to Branch Name to commit your changes. A committed change will need to be pushed to the remote repository before it becomes accessible to your collaborators. Note that the commit will not be shown under the History view until it is pushed. On the top bar, the button Push 1 indicates that there is one commit to push. Click Push once ready to push a commit to GitHub. A dialog will appear asking, Would you like to push changes to remote branch? Select Push. Another dialog will appear when the push to GitHub is complete, saying Branch Pushed. Select OK. It is recommended to commit and push often and keep commits small and identifiable. This means that if we need to revert to a previous commit, we have more options as to which point in the project's history we can return to. One of the features of Git is being able to easily revert a commit. Reverting a commit will undo the changes of that commit. To revert a change, open History view and right-click on a commit in the commit list. A Revert option will appear. Click Revert. 
a dialogue will appear asking, Are you sure you want to revert the following commit? Commit message. Select Revert. A new commit appears titled Revert Commit Summary, and the view indicates that there is one commit to push. Click Push to push the revert commit to GitHub. Sometimes, our local repository will be behind the remote repository in terms of its changes. That means that there are changes on the remote that are not on our local machine. This may happen if we are collaborating with others or if we have pushed changes on a different machine. Click Fetch to get all the latest branches and tags for the repository. The Pull button will then show the number of commits to pull from GitHub. Click Fetch and then Pull to download the latest changes to your local repository. Finally, let's take a look at managing branches. Branches allow us to create parallel copies of a repository. This can be used for many reasons, experimentation, collaboration, and more. For example, we can create a new branch to try a new feature or plugin without risk. Let's create a new branch. From the Branches view, click on Master under Local Branches to enable the New Branch button and to be able to create a new branch from the Master branch. Click on New Branch, enter a name for the branch, and click Create to create the new branch. To switch to a branch, right-click on a local branch and select Switch, or double-click on the branch to switch to it. A dialog will appear asking, Switch branch to branch name? Select Switch. The branch will be checked out, and the project state will now be in our new branch. Any changes and commits will be pushed to the current active branch. To delete a branch, click on the branch name to be deleted, and the Delete button becomes enabled. Right-click on a local branch and select Delete, or click the Delete button above the local branches list. For more information on GitHub for Unity, visit the GitHub for Unity documentation linked below in the description. It is possible to use any of the many available Git clients alongside GitHub for Unity. GitHub for Unity also includes the Git command line to access the full functionality of Git, which you can access under Window GitHub Command Line. To learn more about GitHub for Unity, visit unity.github.com. If you would like to learn more about Git itself, visit git-scm.com. We hope you enjoy using GitHub for Unity in your project. Thanks for watching.